And right now we're talking burgers because we're hanging in the QC kitchen. Who doesn't love a good cheeseburger? Normally though, you think of cheeses like cheddar or American, pepper jack, maybe even pimento cheese. But what about putting a little goat cheese on your burger? August is National Goat Cheese Month. And Zach Current with Moo and Brew is helping us celebrate. How you doing, friend? I'm doing great today. Um, I'm so glad you're here. This burger smells so good. But talk to me about this burger before we get to the. Well, this cheese. is uh, this is a burger that we've had on our our menu since we opened. It's called the Way Out West Burger. Way and Out West. Yeah, it's a bison burger, and uh, as you can see, it's a real lean burger. It's it's actually quite healthy for you. Yeah, there's no fat that's come out of that burger yet. And what we've done is to introduce people to it, we've added some tang and we've added a little bit of tartness. This is a sun-dried tomato spread that we make in-house. Uh huh. And so as an alternative to ketchup or anything, we give this just a nice spread along the bottom. Nice. All right, just a nice healthy dose of that, a little on top. All right. Um, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a, all that, that's a sun-dried tomato mixed with olive oil, then we, uh, we make a spread out of it. That's it? Yeah, that's it. it While you're spreading that, let me ask you more about bison. Sure. Because this is a pretty, like you can see, there's no fat in the bottom of the pan. Uh -huh. Why do you, what is the flavor of bison compared to maybe what people might expect from a beef burger? It's got, uh, the, the best way to describe it is a touch of a gaminess flavor. Uh -huh. It's just got a little bit more like it's, it actually is wild. So uh, we add the, um, the sun-dried tomato spread, and yeah. that's where the goat cheese comes in. Uh, it's a pretty simple burger. We, uh, with just the bison, and on this one we add goat cheese and arugula and sun-dried tomato spread. It's a great introduction for people that haven't had bison before yeah. as a way just to get uh, some trial on it. And then from there, people, people expand out and do the barbecue sauce and uh -huh. all of that, but this is a really healthy alternative. Um, did you put anything in that bison meat before you made it into the patty? We have a special, it starts with straight bison, but the yeah. outside we have a special seasoning. It's a combination of a couple different steak spices and we grind it up into a powder. The moo dust uh -huh. is what it's called. It's, moo dust is delicious. Yeah. Does goat cheese melt in the same way as another, I mean obviously it doesn't melt the same way, but will it melt? No, it has a higher, it has a higher melt temperature. Yeah. For sure, um, but you know, all you want is it's got a creaminess when it melts. Sure. It doesn't just like pour out where it's releasing the oils. Yep. So. And then why do you like arugula on this burger? Because that can be a little bitey. That's exactly why we like it. Yeah. It adds that little bit of extra bite for uh, where the the bison. It just has a different flavor. It's not that it's it's bad. It's different. Right. So this is a great introduction. Um, oh, you got the. Like it's a nice six ounce patty of bison. A healthy amount of goat cheese on there, and when we get the bison, we recommend you don't go anything higher than than medium. Okay, why? At a, at a higher at a higher temperature, that meat because of the low fat content, yeah, it tightens up. Yeah, and not only is it tough, that's where that gaminess really comes in. Uh huh. Yeah, so these these are ready to go right here. Those are some good looking burgers. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I'm trying to think of what I had the last time I was at Moon Brew because you're in my neighborhood. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. Is that our Matthews location or the Central Avenue the location? Central Ave. Okay. So producer Heidi was with me and, and I, she said immediately in my ear, cheese curds. Um, the cheese curds are unbelievable at Moo and Brew. Yeah. Why did you want to have those on the menu? Look, well, still I, have juiciness in yeah, there. I'm a Midwest guy, yep. and uh, those cheese curds is a you know when you take them and, and batter them and fry them, it really I, there's really nothing better than there's, fried cheese. Mm -hmm. I can't. It'd be hard to find an argument against that. But uh, yeah. You know, growing up eating those little cheese curds, we'd eat cheese curds on the couch watching movies like some people eat popcorn. I mean, yeah. why didn't we grow up and why didn't we grow up with you? I love that. When you can do your own burger, um, you have goat cheese as one of the options. We do. If you don't do it on a bison burger, um, tell me a little bit about where you might use it. Well, the burger that I was going to cook for you, but I decided not to bring in the poultry, was this this rocket turkey. Uh -huh. This rocket turkey is a farm raised turkey that it's ground. We spice it up, and add some really nice seasonings to that, and cook it. Uh, but I wanted I wanted to make sure that we could do something fully cooked, so when we eat this, we're in yeah. good shape. But uh, and that's got goat cheese on it, roasted red peppers. It's got a balsamic fig dressing on there, Ooh. so you get a little sweet in the tart. Um, it's actually a lot of our staff's favorite sandwich. Really? Yeah. It it's sounds really good. really good. How is that process of coming up with new burgers? Because uh, there's some you can't take off the menu because people will revolt. That's the tried and true right, right here. They've been here for the, uh, that was a really fun part. It's, there are a lot of aspects in, to, in running your own business and having your own restaurant and coming up with new menu items is something that everybody wants to get involved in. 
coming up with the names, it's, it's a, a lot of fun because sometimes it just hits you. Yeah. You know, when we came up with that Peter Piper burger, it's like, oh, yeah, perfect, you know? Uh-huh. And uh, that's become one of the mainstays now. And even the name like the Way Out West. Yeah. You know, that's just a fun name. You know, if you've been t- out to the uh, Western America and you've seen the bison, yeah. you know, you go out there, you think of sun-dried tomatoes, I think of California. Yeah. And the goat cheese. So, yeah, we, we're... We're having fun over there. Uh, Yeah, you are. And it's always fun to stop in as well. Let's go ahead and put all the information for our friends at Moon Brew up on the screen. Uh, You can follow them on Instagram and Facebook as well. We're talking about the fall. I hope you don't mind. We're having a free fall concert series every Friday starting uh, the first Friday in September all the way through October. We're doing free concerts at both locations that uh, are going to go from 7 to 10. And these are good acts. These are good musical acts coming through. Really? So come out and see us Friday Night Live. Where do you put them at the Central Ave location? Uh, they're going to be in the side yard of love. They're oh, going to be over there. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be great over there. And then we got that. We got the back deck going on at Matthews. So it's going to be a good time. And the weather's, weather's going to cooperate. And you can have goat cheese or any other kind of cheese <laughs> you want. Thank you for coming to see us, Zach. We appreciate it. Uh, anything, of course, that we do in the QC Kitchen ends up on our QC Kitchen app. Get in there, man. Get in there. I love it. Yes. Oh, oh it's yeah. perfectly done, too. Mm. You did well.